Oh, beautiful. Yeah. 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 So what really stands out for me was actually this one. Uh, this image shows a, a very clear asymmetry between one and the other breast. And we have no idea what's going on in this left breast, but you can see the red pattern. And this could even be a cell phone. So if a cell phone is kept in the bra, it will make the, the breast warmer. And it might clear on its own, but it needs more um, uh, like ultrasound or other investigation. So this is very clear. But what I really, this was a woman. Uh, she had also an asymmetry between one and the other breast was a higher level of concern. And uh, something was going on. So she needed to, uh, to go in the hospital and have that, um, yeah, been treated. Wow. And this is really uh, a very beautiful symmetry. So if a woman comes in, she uh, always needs to cool down for at least uh, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the breast will start to cool down because they're outside of the body. And, and we want to see both breasts nice, clear and blue. And, uh, and you don't see any patterns here. So this is what we'd like to see. So if we, we see this the first time, this asymmetry, we really start saying, well, okay, this is a higher level of concern. You should need to see your GP. But if we have a symmetry like here, so you see this, this woman here, she has not very beautiful blue breasts. There's some patterns, but there is a symmetry. Mm -hmm. And so then we're starting to look, okay, what's going on here? This looks like, because we see a V pattern or other patterns, we say, okay, this has something to do with your, uh, with your gut or uh, might be a dropped shoulder or is something going on with the thyroid. And then we get, can get more information on how she can improve her health and then also her breast will become healthier. And, and, and so this is what we very much do if giving information on what women can do for their breast health. And, and so this is an, a picture I use very often. It's, uh, it's a picture of how the lymph is all over the breast and lymph can get congested because of the bra because lymph is very uh, right under the skin. And if we put the bra to our breasts, then we congest that lymph. And women uh, store their um, toxics in safe fat tissue and preferably outside of the body. So that is our breast and we have no idea about it. And so if women take off their bras more and start doing um, dry brushing like this, so here we have the dry brush, I took this here, and they start dry brushing their whole breast area, it will improve their thermographs dramatically. So that's, it's so very simple. And, um, and, and also, yeah, very easy to understand. That's a beautiful this, picture, I love that. Yeah, that, that, it's also in my book. And uh, so this is the position we take in front of the camera. Of course, the hair should be way up on the head, but there's no touching and the camera's just there. So that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, and this is, this is really easy to understand that the lymph is all over here and the, and the lymph is really our garbage collecting system and it needs to move, but it only moves by us moving, by muscle movement, but our breasts don't move out of themselves. So we need to help them get in, um, uh, uh, in movements. So that's why self-massage under the shower, dry brushing, uh, take off your bra more, and especially the underwide bra, put them all away, the underwide bras. <laughs> it's really, it will really benefit your breast health. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And yeah. one thing I like to do is I, there's a, an oil that I use called Healthy Girls Breast Oil. Um, oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> it is lovely. And it's a combination of six or seven oils. You spray it in your hand and I massage before I go to bed every night. That's one thing that I do. Oh. And just really move that lymph because it's, you know, so, so important, as you say. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so why is thermography so life-changing and revolutionary? And, and why should more practitioners get involved with this? Yeah. I also train uh, other uh, 
practitioners like chiropractors, osteopaths, uh, physiotherapists, because if they get a client from us uh, coming into their practice, they uh, need to have a basic understanding of what tomography is. And so they can see like inflammation going on in the spine or somewhere else in the body. And then we t uh, tell them we can monitor your clients uh, throughout the year or in a year and then see how what the treatment has done. So uh, I think tomography is a nice way to implement with uh, paramedics or other practitioners. Um, uh, so yeah, we, we see a lot of improvements uh, with uh, the tips coming into the report and it's very revolutionary. I mean, when uh, X-ray was invented, uh, that that was so new. It was revolutionary. We could see into the body and we learned a lot of things from it, like uh, anatomy. And now, uh, more than 100 years later, we are able to look at the physiology. And that is new. And that's even new to the whole medical world. They think, oh, what are you doing with a camera? You can't see anything anatomical. No, we can't see anatomical, but we see physiological. And if when, and when they, these two blend together, I think we have a beautiful view of the whole body, what's going on. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you're very passionate about it. Yeah.